Lighten is developing advanced lithium sulfur batteries, but you can think of them as a graphene company. No, no, wait, I said that wrong. A 3D graphene company that powers their batteries. Oh, this is going to require some explanation. Graphene is a super material that has generated interest for at least a decade. A single layer of carbon atoms can be 200 times stronger than steel and used in electronics, coatings, composites, and in energy storage. 3D graphene is a term for interconnected layers of graphene that create a structure. Different companies have pioneered different structure types. This is where Lighten started in 2015 seeking to pioneer the use of their version of this super material. They have applications in stronger, greener materials and advanced sensors, but I wanna talk about their batteries. When talking about batteries, it's the cathode material deposited on a thin sheet of aluminum that typically gives the battery its name. So nickel, manganese, and cobalt get mixed together into a slurry. That's NMC. It's expensive, but energy dense, so powerful. Lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, heavier but cheaper. Lighten's battery has sulfur deposited on the cathode and lithium on a copper sheet anode. This is not new chemistry. It's been around for decades. The materials are cheap and abundant compared to NMC batteries. Lighten says that the material price can be 40% less. They're also much lighter than LFP. Lighten claims their batteries are 50% lighter than LFP and even up to 30% lighter than NMC. In fact, they claim energy density by weight that can exceed even solid state lithium iron batteries currently under development. The problem with lithium sulfur has always been cycle life, the number of times they can be charged and discharged before losing storage capacity. This is called polysulfide shuttling where the sulfur on the cathode slowly dissolves into the electrolyte with each cycle of use. If only there was some super material that could stop this. Da da da, never fear, 3D graphene from Lighten is here. Their design combines sulfur and 3D graphene on the cathode that they claim keeps the sulfur from shuttling and gives batteries a competitive cycle life. That means they claim to have a battery that is lighter, cheaper, more sustainable, um, better looking? No, no, they didn't say that. But you can see why Lighten has attracted some major investors. 3D graphene is actually made by cracking a hydrocarbon. It could be done to methane gas coming from a landfill that would be called biogas. But rather than release the carbon as CO2, it gets turned into 3D graphene. And a byproduct of this is hydrogen, which has other uses, so neat. They're producing A samples of their battery for testing by potential customers in pouch and cylindrical formats. Their pilot plant in California currently cannot make a prismatic battery, but there's nothing about their design that prevents them from doing this in the future. First use of these advanced batteries will be in drones, satellites, and defense applications. Now Chrysler did show their Halcyon concept and said it featured Lighten batteries. Chrysler brand CEO Christine Fuel said at a Reuters conference that a version of this concept car, not the exact car, but a version of it, would find its way into production. But unfortunately for us car geeks, the latest battery technologies will often go into drones and eVTOLs and then find their ways into cars and trucks after production ramps up. That's because flying things are particularly sensitive to weight and cycle life is not as much as a concern as it is with automobiles. So electric vehicles will have to wait for them further to improve longevity and to ramp up production. After talking to them at the battery show, they announced plans for a gigafactory near Reno, Nevada at 10 gigawatt hours it's about three to five times smaller than other EV battery factories that have been built, but thousands of times more than they currently produce at their pilot operations. And at a billion dollars investment, it's no small chunk of change. Phase one is planned to come online in 2027 with plenty of land to grow following that. 
So there you have it, Lighten. Remember that name. I did a video recently on the history of electric vehicles and said that the next great generation of EVs would be sparked by a major change in battery technology, advanced solid state, cheap sodium ion batteries, maybe it'll be lithium sulfur powered by Lighten 3D graphene that will power the next great generation of EVs. It's gonna take a few years to decide the winners and this is not investment advice, but Lighten is currently privately held. I wouldn't be surprised to see them get listed as a public stock in the not too distant future. Keep an eye out for that and keep an eye out for other upcoming videos on the exciting transition to electric mobility. Thanks.